Here is another instance of rare cars created in the USSR. This is the Gaz M20 Pobita, which means victory, a car with a special appearance and good characteristics at that time. It was released in 1946 by the Gorky Automobile Plant for Ordinary People. At the time of the development of the very idea of this car, its creators had only a strong desire to create a new modern domestic car. There were no specific proposals about the name of the new model yet, but the events of that time made their own adjustments. I'll tell you a little about the history of the creation of this model. Back in 1938, the factory designer Valentin Brodsky came up with the concept of this car, smooth sidewalls, an aerodynamic silhouette, a load-bearing body. It was the exterior invented by the Kachi that formed the basis of the car. Further development, unfortunately, was temporarily stopped by the war, but already in February of the 43rd year, the GAZ workers returned to the creation of a new Soviet car. Over the years of forced downtime, technology has gone ahead, but the engineers had a lot of captured and lend-lease equipment in their hands. Many technical solutions were peeped there. but not appearance. It was created by Soviet designers. I repeat, the sketch was ready back in the 38th. The first cars left the assembly line in 1946, and similar foreigners appeared only in the late 40s. And by the way, Pobita became the world's first mass-produced car with a pontoon body. There are direct analogies or similarities, no one hid this. For example, Opel Capitan, released in Germany, inspired and prompted a number of design solutions to the young Soviet automotive school, which I will talk about a little later. On the one hand, Pobita is galvanized, on the other, not. There was no putty at that time, so the irregularities were removed with the help of tin lead solder, in some places, its thickness could reach more than half an inch, and the total mass sometimes reached 30 pounds. What I'm wondering is, which animal reminds you of the hood of this car? I heard several opinions, dog, crocodile and anteater, waiting for you in the comments. The hood reminds me of an alligator. See for yourself, in front there is a chrome grill and branded emblems. This is what luxury looks like. By the way, the hood opens on the right side, not the left side. In the space under the hood, an engine is hidden, which at that time was considered new. The M20 model, gasoline, carburetor, inline, for cylinder, lower valve. The volume of the M20 is 130 cubic inches. The maximum power of Pobita is 52 horsepower at 3,600 RPM. Maximum torque 125 Newton meters at 2,000 to 2,200 revolutions per minute. Initially, they wanted to install a 6 here, but for the sake of saving metal and fuel during operation, they installed a 4. In fact, this is the same 6, only cut off, minus 2 pots. And yes, this is a reimagined Dodge D5 engine. This car has lived in the same family all its life. Of course, it was restored, but they did it not carelessly, but with care and precision. Pay attention to the braid. It is rag. By the way, an interesting point, here is a plus on the body. The light bulb works. There is an outlet. It even works, and here is an oiler. It's a little thing, but still nice.
The motor itself is mounted on subframes. The idea was just peeped from the Opel captain. Now about the suspension. The front suspension vaguely resembles the German one, but only reminds, because their dimensions do not match at all. It is a parallelogram type on two pairs of transverse levers with shock absorbers and anti-roll bar. Today, the same system is installed on many modern cars. Another thing that the Gaz M20 Pobita could boast of is the trunk that opens from the street. Even many Europeans had access from the cabin. I'm willing to bet that many of you have never seen or imagined. What is inside this trunk? Its volume is 92 gallons, which is modest, especially considering that half is occupied by the spare tire. But on the other hand, it is fenced off with a plywood shelf. But this is a lyric, if you remove the rear sofa, you get a completely flat floor. But we will not do this. Even the factory papers remained. Sat behind the wheel, but first let's pay attention here, on the back sofa. This is really a sofa, and there is really a lot of space here. But initially the generals complained that it was uncomfortable to sit in a hat, they fixed it. On demand. Handrail. Ashtray. In subsequent later editions, the second, and the third as in our case, the seat was made not so thick. Interior trim is luxurious. Even if you consider that conditionally Pobita is a car for ordinary people. Everything is trimmed with velayer and painted metal. The interior heater is installed as standard, here it is from below. Previously, there was no such luxury. All vents and windows can open, comfort began to appear, and the frame is gone, behind the same. I will not show it, take my word for it. Next on the list, a watch that never needs to be wound again. Five monitoring devices, three signal lamps as you can see, sun visors are located on top, electric windshield wipers, ashtrays, and a cigarette lighter. Good equipment. A radio receiver can be installed here, and a speaker can be installed behind this grill. Glove box. And the sofa. Grandma's sofa. Theoretically, three people can be planted here. One. And one more. Have you seen the handbrake? Look here. This is either from an airplane or a grappling hook. Okay, now we start the engine. With the key. And. With the foot. Trust me, up to 30 miles per hour the car accelerated quite briskly, and it seems that it will always be so. Behind the wheel you feel special, it's hard to explain. You are inspired by the dynamics, you believe that you can win against the young, but time has passed. After 30 miles per hour, it's like a concrete slab is hitting the road. No, the car continues to accelerate, but somehow doomed, with difficulty, hauling with everything that can haul. Wow, something weird is going on here. It seems to be about these funny guys on scooters and on bicycles. I love them with all my heart. We digress. So, 45 minutes to 60 miles. No, of course, 45 seconds to 60 miles. But these seconds here feel like they stretch into eternity, even though it's only less than a minute. More than 65, this car, in principle, should not go, as the creators bequeathed. But what a beauty of movement. The suspension is moderately soft, leaf spring at the rear, the shock absorbers work correctly, well, in the sense they are not empty. Yes, and a spring sofa helps to feel all the charm of the Soviet premium class. A three-speed gearbox is installed here, here is the switch under the steering wheel. The second and third gears are synchronized, this is a gearbox from ZIM. Then it will migrate to the 21st Volga. By the way, do you know this story why they called Victory Victory? Remember, when Stalin was shown a car and called it the Motherland, he kind of asked, how much will you sell the Motherland for? So this is a joke. In fact, Victory has always been Victory, and the project of the 21st Volga was called the Motherland.
What else can be said about the gas M20 model is good fuel consumption, even for the present time. Firstly, Pobita consumed cheap gasoline of the A66 series. Secondly, according to technical data, according to the passport, for 60 miles he eats 3 gallons of fuel, but in reality 3.4 to 3.9 gallons. And don't be afraid to slow down. An innovative system was used here, hydraulic drum brakes were installed on all wheels with a single drive. Such a scheme for a Soviet car was applied for the first time. The brake mechanism was very simple, now I will explain. The pads were bred by one hydraulic cylinder in each of the four brake drums. The design of the machine for its time was, if not advanced, then certainly in the spirit of the times, and with a margin. And the car was very simple. For the repair of units, highly qualified auto mechanics and special equipment are not needed. And all current repairs can be performed by the forces of the driver, who is always available. You ask, what does the Museum of the Special Purpose Garage, which is at VDNKH, have to do with it? And everything is simple, each domestic novelty entered the Special Purpose Garage and immediately began to serve. But this garage was simultaneously engaged in testing and identifying weaknesses in the design. Do you remember generals in hats? So here they are. The GAZ M20 car was taken out of production back in 1958, but for many years the model was operated in a special purpose garage and in many city services. And I'm not talking about private users of Victory. Yes, because it's a luxury, but I have always been pleased with these elements, linings made of natural wood. Of course I'm lying. This is a specially painted metal, and this technology was invented at the Gorky Automobile Plant. Visually a tree, Karelian birch. Beautiful. Gazm 20 Pobita has become an excellent testing ground for new developments of the Gorky Automobile Plant. Over time, many of the technical solutions used here migrated to the new Soviet flagship GAZ-21, and to be honest, they did not change radically for many decades. Trouble-free, durable, beautiful, but leisurely car for all occasions. It has become part of Soviet history. Yes, it's all about it. Victory. One for everyone. We continue the hunt, or to be more precise, we move to another pavilion of the historical museum of the special purpose garage.